Okay, in this video we're going to look at how easy it is to set up a geofence. So quickly, I'll just select an app. I'm going to use real estate here, so select that. Click on users template. Okay, create. And we'll configure that all later. And click on done. Okay, now we've chosen our template and it's loaded into the app builder. We'll go down here you'll see geofences. And if we want to put a geofence in, it's not a page type at all, it's just actually a, it's a function inside the app. Click on enable geofences. And I'll scroll it down a bit so you can see. And at the bottom here there's a button called add. Click on add and geofence title. So let's say it was house, house number one for example. And then we click on edit, and then we just type in the address we want. So let's say in my town, a block north, Google's going to find my town, right? And let's say the address was actually 23, just making this up, middle road, have up north. There it is there. It's as simple as that. And it defaults to a 100 meter radius for the geofence zone. And what will actually happen, if someone's coming along, if we set up a geofence for this zone, and someone's coming down Porter Drive here, and as they enter, about 30 seconds or a minute after entering the geofence zone, they'll get a notification on their phone. And it'll be the message that we determined here. Okay, so we're going to actually set it for a larger radius. It's recommended to set it for at least 150 meters. You can either do that by increasing this or decreasing it. If you touch here, you can move this around. You can actually you can place it wherever you want. And if you want, you can use the satellite view because this is Google Maps. So we can easily pinpoint the spot. Maybe it's the shopping center is where we're going to put our geofence and we just raise it so anywhere around that shopping center maybe put it in the middle of the shopping center if you like right there you go so this is all going to be geo fenced and as soon as anyone comes into that zone the message will come on their phone okay now we just click on OK that's our geo fence there and the message we want to have come up okay we'll change that title maybe shopping shopping center and the message will say, welcome to X, XYZ Realty, for example. Right. Then we just click on Save, Save Changes. And that's done. Now we have a geofence there called Shopping Center. And we can add another one. Okay, now we'll make this one house number one. Okay, edit, and maybe it's say for example it was that house so we'll put that address back in let's say it was exactly this house and we wanted just this block this might not work because it's too small I found that 100 meters is needed so you can also put the number in here Oops. All right so it's 100 meters you can even put a thousand meters, one kilometer. All right. So just put the number in that you want. And you can also, if you've got the exact latitude and longitude, you can type those in. You don't have to use the Google search function. There's many ways to get this in. It's a really, really great interface here. So once you're happy and you've got the zone you want, click OK. And then type your message, um, house on auction this weekend and you could say phone right talk to agent ABC okay and then you click on save and you're done now we've got the shopping center one and we've got house one okay so now we just save changes and click on done for geofences to work you have to enable push notifications. So during the publishing process, when you get to this choice, I want 
push notifications disabled or I want them enabled you have to select enabled and then click on next okay so that's pretty much it next I'll show you some testing I did some apps with geofence enabled okay on this phone I've got several apps with geofences set up and we just crossed the geofence boundary just now and I'm going to take a little walk and cross a few more boundaries and let's see what happens when the phone goes into screensaver mode the notifications actually appear on the lock screen so the next time the user goes to use the phone they will see the notifications Okay, and we just crossed the geofence boundary and there's the notification on the lock screen. Now if we were to slide that across, it opens up the app. And our message is on there too. In this case it's just Campbell Street. That's just so I know which fence I crossed. And that's basically how it works.